I have been teaching at Cornell for 25 years. I started in uh, spring 1991. I had been granted a Fulbright Fellowship and I chose Cornell University African Studies because I felt that my work would be well located in the African Studies. I came as a visitor, scheduled to go back. 25 years later, I'm here. One of uh, the courses which I'm still teaching that I offered was very popular, Women and Gender Issues in Africa. Every single society has a component of gender. However, I approach it from the African perspective. African Art Studies is to look at critically the same history, but from their perspective. African people were not always marginalized in the world. They are, cannot be defined by slavery and colonization alone. I do a lot of research on higher education, and one of the courses that I teach is educational innovations. And Africana Studies is a contemporary educational innovation of a great magnitude. Those in the Africana studies who are producing certain type of knowledge, that knowledge should not be for its own sake. That knowledge should be used for transformation. It should be shared. And the work I do should be able to inform policymakers across the African continent. I have found contexts in which I see that this work has been a part of what has informed policymakers. The way Africana Studies was created, it became an inspiration for many other fields, women's studies, gender studies. Can we live up to its ideal of giving space to all social agents to tell their stories as a ways of writing that common book of the human experience?